I use a Blender 3.2.1 for character creation and animation. Then uh, here is we have the character created already, which we rig and animated. Then we have here the different uh, animation. So here is we have the built-in Blender function to export into a GLTF file. Then we export. So here I created an index.html which is meant for loading the GLTF uh, character that we created in Blender. Then we imported it into a GB, GLB file. So first is uh, here in the style we remove the margin of the body. Then in the canvas we set the width and height equal to 100%. Then we import the uh, 3GS library. We also import the uh, GLTF loader library. The next script is uh, we created the main module, which we add the event listener for the user when uh, doing some keyboard input. Then we set up the scene, the camera, the renderer position and the lights then here is the GLTF loader which we assigned uh, uh, the imported file that we created so this uh, GLB file already contains the texture or the material of our character and including the animation then uh, first here is uh, we set the animation which is an idle mode then click play then here is the clock which is needed in the animation so uh, we animate then here is the keyboard input where when the user press the key one it is idle, press 2, it is run, then 3 and 4, attack mode. Then let's run the program. So here you see that uh, the first thing that the character is doing is just uh, standing there, doing nothing. And by the way, I set the Y position to increment so that it will do the rotation. So now I will press 2, then the character is start running. Then I press 3, then it will do the attack mode. Then another attack mode when I press 4, jump and strike. And that's it. Thank you. And please subscribe.